For years, the tech giants have been locked in a quiet war. A war for the smartest phone, the sharpest TV, and the most seamless experience you can imagine. But while most companies were focused on the usual specs, on megapixels and gigahertz, Samsung was building a secret weapon. And now they've just unleashed it across their entire lineup. This is the story of how Samsung's AI didn't just show up to the fight, it might be changing the rules for good. Okay, quick game before we dive in. Team Samsung or Team Apple? Drop your allegiance in the comments. No judging, unless you still use a flip phone. The way tech companies battle for your attention has changed. The tech war isn't just about who can cram the most powerful hardware into a shiny box anymore. The new battleground, the one that really matters, is intelligence. Not just any artificial intelligence, but the kind that feels ambient, intuitive, and works across every single device you own. For a long time, the story was all about a few big names with their walled-off ecosystems and sky-high prices. But something just shifted. At major events like CES 2025 and their own Galaxy Unpacked, Samsung didn't just bring new gadgets. They brought a new philosophy, a strategy so comprehensive and so bold it's putting serious pressure on competitors. This isn't about one cool feature, it's about a full-scale AI strategy, and it's already making waves. The first real shots were fired at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2025. This wasn't just a good showing for Samsung, it was a powerful statement. The company didn't just win a few awards, it earned an impressive 29 CES 2025 Innovation Awards. Among those were four of the most coveted Best of Innovation titles, the highest honor you can get at the event. Let's put that into context. While other brands were showing off small incremental updates, Samsung was getting recognized for making fundamental changes. Their visual display business, the people behind their world-class TVs, took home 16 of those awards alone, including three Best of Innovation wins for their flagship OLED TVs. These aren't just screens anymore, they're becoming intelligent hubs powered by some seriously advanced AI. But the push came from all sides. Their mobile and audio products like the Galaxy Buds series were recognized for their smart features and sound quality. The latest Galaxy foldables were celebrated not just as phones, but as top-tier gaming devices, thanks to their raw power. Even the components you don't see were winning awards, like their next-gen memory and wearable chips. This wasn't a random collection of good products, it was a coordinated display, all built around a single powerful idea, Samsung AI. So, what is this secret weapon really? When Samsung says AI, they aren't just talking about a chatbot or a neat photo filter. They're signaling a complete pivot in their strategy. At their Galaxy Unpacked 2025 event, the message was unmistakable. Samsung is thinking like an AI, software, and services company first. This is a huge deal. For decades, Samsung's identity has been about making the best screens, the best memory chips, and phones packed with the most hardware features. Now the hardware is treated as the vehicle for the intelligence that runs on it. This is happening through deep partnerships, especially with giants like Google. By working with Google DeepMind and integrating powerful AI models, Samsung is building out its on-device AI framework. The goal is to create a kind of personal AI that learns your habits and needs right on your device, without sending all your data to the cloud, keeping your privacy front and center. This is the brain that connects everything. It's in their phone cameras, helping deliver incredible photos. But it's also in their TVs, watches, and earbuds. This ecosystem approach is Samsung's master stroke. It's not about whether your phone is smart anymore. It's about whether your entire digital life, powered by all your devices, is intelligent and connected. While competitors have great individual products, Samsung is building a connected empire, where everything works together to be smarter than any single part. Let's look at the evidence on the ground, product by product. First up, the smartphones. For years, Samsung has been a leader in global market share. But the debate was always about their hardware versus Apple's software experience. With Galaxy AI, Samsung is trying to end that debate. Features like Live Translate aren't just demos, they solve real problems. 
Think about traveling and having a smooth real-time conversation with a local right through your phone's native call app. This is not a sci-fi concept. It's happening on their new devices. This AI is baked into everything, from instantly summarizing your notes to advanced photo editing that feels almost like magic. The new Galaxy Z Fold and Flip series are no longer just cool because they fold. They're becoming productivity machines supercharged with AI. This feels like a direct response to Apple's ecosystem, but with a layer of practical AI that's arguably more visible and immediately useful. Then there's the living room. Samsung's best of innovation winning OLED TVs show off their AI power. They use new AI processors to upscale any content to look like it was filmed in glorious 8K. But the AI does more than just sharpen the picture. It can analyze your room's layout and what you're watching to optimize the sound in real time. Your TV is now aware of its own environment, and it's the ecosystem that ties it all together. The award-winning Galaxy Watch doesn't just track your health. It uses AI to give you deeper insights that work with your phone and TV. The Galaxy Buds don't just play music. Their AI-powered noise control adapts automatically as you move from a quiet office to a noisy street. Each device makes the others smarter, creating a web of intelligence that competitors with their more separated product lines are now racing to match. If you're finding this breakdown of Samsung's strategy interesting, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out and tells YouTube you're getting some value here. Now, let's get back to how they're trying to outmaneuver the competition. Samsung's current position isn't an accident. It's the result of a smart multi-part strategy that takes aim at its biggest rivals, especially Apple. First, there's the strategy of flexibility over focus. Apple offers a narrow, high-end lineup. You have the iPhone, the MacBook, the iPad, all premium. Samsung plays on a much bigger field. They have devices at nearly every price point, from affordable smartphones to ultra-premium foldables and TVs. This allows them to capture a massive slice of the global market, recently hovering around 19-20% to in smartphones, often just ahead of Apple's 17-19%, to though these numbers shift all the time. Second, and this is their ace in the hole, is vertical integration. Samsung doesn't just assemble its products, it makes the most important components that go inside them. They are a world leader in making semiconductors and display panels. Historically, their semiconductor division has been a massive profit engine for the company. This means they control their own destiny. They can innovate faster, build their supply chain how they want, and even sell parts to their competitors. While others are waiting for the next generation of screens or chips, Samsung is busy inventing them. Finally, there's the AI pivot. For years, Apple's strength has been its slick design and seamless user experience. It's a powerful model, but one that feels more iterative than revolutionary lately. Samsung saw an opening by making AI the core of their ecosystem, from the camera in your phone to the processor in your TV. They're trying to change the very definition of a premium experience. It's no longer just about how a device looks, it's about how it thinks and anticipates what you need. This bold shift has helped redefine their brand as a leader in practical, powerful innovation. So, is Samsung's AI push really winning the tech war? They're winning by trying to rewrite the rules of the war itself. This isn't about a single product launch. It's the result of a deliberate long-term plan. They did it with a clear focus on innovation, earning an impressive number of awards and proving their R&D is top-notch. They did it with strategic flexibility, offering something for everyone, unlike their more rigid competitors. And they did it using their incredible advantage in vertical integration, giving them control over the heart of their own technology. But most importantly, they're making a gusty pivot from a hardware-first company to an AI-driven one. They're weaving a web of interconnected, intelligent devices that learn, adapt, and work together. The old battle for specs is winding down. The new war for the most intelligent ecosystem has officially begun, and Samsung has made a powerful opening move. Samsung has shown its hand integrating a unified AI across its devices. 
The real question is, how will the competition respond? And who do you think will ultimately win the battle for your digital life? All right, it's your turn. Is Samsung actually winning the AI war? Or is Apple just waiting to drop a nuke? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this tech breakdown, don't forget to subscribe. We've got more battles coming your way.